guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome to my next Pokemon Let's Play on my channel, Pokemon Firewood and Leaf Green. Let's hop right in here. Okay, so I decided on my own time that I'm not actually going to be doing Pokemon Y because of um, money problems and just because of like recording and editing just gonna be pretty much impossible so I decided to do this anyway hello there glad to meet you welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Oak people affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon professor or the tree this world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon for some people Pokemon are pets others use them for battling as for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Well, I'm obviously a boy. So, let's begin with your name. What is it? Well, I can't fit um, Blue Yoshi, so I'm actually just going to be doing Yoshi. But sadly, I can't do Blue Yoshi, but... Okay, here we go. Right, your name is Yoshi. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since we both were babies. What was his name again? His name was Kamek, actually. So, um, I'm kind of playing with the Mario theme here. Kamek is obviously, like, Yoshi's rival, kind of. So, yeah, I'm kind of playing around with that. But yeah, so Yoshi, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. What of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits, Mr. Go. Anyway, so yeah, so I decided to do Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green instead. So, um, yeah. Now, um, I'm going to be, like, with my commentary, I'm going to assume that, like, you guys like, don't know, like, that much about Pokemon, like, you're, you're not stupid, but, like, you all, you aren't, like, a crazy game fanatic like I am, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, before you go out, you should probably go to the, um, computer right there, so you can get a potion, and then leave. So, um, here we go, um, this is the best line ever. Best line ever, are you ready? Right, all boys leave home someday, but that's I want to read. Oh yeah, Professor Oak next door was such a boy. That is the, um, best line in video gaming ever. <laughs> it shows how much your mom loves you. Anyways, so, what year we are at Pallet Town, this is our home. So, um, let's see, can't, how do I open it, okay, so now I can, now I can hit start and I can open all of this, so I have a bag which keeps my stuff, this is my money and game data, so basically my code, I can save and I can hit option, quickly I'm gonna turn um, some stuff on, okay, let's see, let's have this, stereo, I'm gonna turn this to blue. Okay, let's go. So, we're gonna go to Professor Oak's lab, and we know that because, like, that. And, yeah, let's go in. Hello. This game is. What? Is so many Yoshis? Ramps isn't around. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what you're supposed to do around here is you're supposed to go, um, over here, up into this tall glass, and then here comes Oak. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe. Why would Pokemon live in this tall glass? You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me. Now he's gonna bring us to his lab, so... So yeah. Grimms, I'm better for waiting. 
mechanic? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. This way. Here, Yoshi. Those three Pokemon here. Aha! The Pokemon all held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, shoot. Hey, Glance, no fail. What about me? Be patient, Kamek. You can have one, too. Okay, well, um... So there are three Pokemon here. There is Bulbasaur. There is Grotor. And there is Charmander. So quickly, I'm going to do a thing that I call a bio on all of these. And it's just going to be a quick summary of them, just so you know. So, see you right there. Okay, here we go. So, we have three starters here, and the first one is Bulbasaur. So, Bulbasaur is a glass poison type. As you can see, each type kind of works like rock, paper, scissors in battle. So, one is good against the other, but it also has a weakness. Bulbasaur, he is grass and poison. He is weak to fire, flying, ice, and psychic. Um, so, be wary of that. He's also weak to Charmander, so if you choose Bulbasaur, your rival will choose Charmander, so just FYI about that. Now if we go to Miscellaneous down there, on this catch rate, that just means how easy it is to catch, doesn't matter since you're not catching it. Rarity is how hard it is to find it in the wild, obviously you're not finding it in the wild. And then um, gender ratio, how easy it is to get a boy and how easy it is to get a girl. Um, more often, these starters are going to be boys and girls, but, yeah. And then, version. Some Pokemon are limited to only one version of the game. However, all these starters are in both games. Now, if we look at evolution, all of these starters evolve twice. Um, they all evolve at the same level, except for the final evolution of Bulbasaur. So, Bulbasaur evolves a bit earlier than the rest of the starters, so he's pretty easy to raise compared to the other ones, but, yeah. Now, right under that is ability. Ability is another thing that just aids you in battle. Now, it's much easier to get overglow than it is to get chlorophyll, but, um, stop me. And then, yeah, so overglow boosts grass moves in a pinch, chlorophyll doubles speed in sunlight, and then is stats right there under it. There are six stats. This is really important because it really aids them in battle. Um, HP is how much damage you can take before he faints. Attack is orange, and that's how much damage his physical attacks are going to be doing. So like scratch and tackle. Defense is how much is like how you can resist a physical hit. Special attack is how much damage a special attack will do, so for, for a um, dragon, that would be like breathing fire. And then special defense is how much you can resist something like that. And then finally, speed is really important because it's who goes first. Whoever has a higher speed goes first. Now if you look at Bulbasaur's stats, you can see that all of them are pretty even, except for um, special attack and special defense a bit higher than the rest. And he's quite slow. He's the slowest starter you can pick. So, if you w want a slower Pokemon, I guess Bulbasaur's a guy. But he's really defensive when he evolves. So, yeah, Bulbasaur is the defensive one. Well, um, glass types are normally about, like, whittling down the other guy's HP. And that's what Bulbasaur does. And he's not going to be taken out easily either with all that defense. So, yeah. Now, our second option is Charmander. He is pure fire type, so he is weak to rock, ground, and water. So he is weak to Squirtle, but he is good against Bulbasaur. Um, if you look, if you choose Charmander, um, your rival is going to pick Squirtle. And then um, Miscellaneous is the same thing as Bulbasaur. Evolution, same thing as Bulbasaur. Evolves twice, but Charmander evolves at a slightly higher level than Bulbasaur, so a bit harder to raise, but doesn't really matter. And then ability, uh, um, he has blaze, which is basically the same thing as overglow, but with fire. And then solo power is pretty interesting. It boosts his special attack by 1.5 times if it's sunny. 
but you also lose some HP for the corner. So if it's sunny, your special attack goes all the way to 90, which is a lot of special attack for a tall mandor. But you're also going to be losing some HP every corner. So, yeah. Now, if you're going to be choosing Cholandor, just know that he's kind of like a glass cannon. And what I mean by that is he's going to be dishing a lot of damage, but he's also going to be taking a lot of damage. So, yeah. He's also the fastest of all these starters. So, yeah. Now, our final option is Squirtle. He's my personal favorite because he's a water type, and water types just appeal to me. But, let's actually take a look at him. He's pure water type, so he is weak to glass and electric. That's it. He is good against Charmander, but he's weak to Bulbasaur. If you choose Squirtle, then your rival is going to choose Bulbasaur. And then, Miscellaneous Evolution, same thing. Ability Torrent is same thing, but with Waddle. Landish is pretty interesting. It heals HP every turn if it's raining. And if you look at his stats, it's all even. I mean, like, really. His only weakness is speed, because he's in the middle of the two with speed. He's not as defensive as Bulbasaur, but he's not as offensive as, as Charmander. So if you want a pretty balanced Pokemon, Squirtle's a guy. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Fire Red quick. Okay, so I decided that um, since we are playing on Fire Red version, I'm going to be doing Charmander. So, um, as I already said, Charmander is a very fast Pokemon and does a lot of special damage. So, um, yeah. Now, of course, I'm going to give him a Mario Bros nickname. So, his nickname is going to be Fire Bro, which is a fire enemy in the Mario series. Um, he's like the Hammer Bro, but he shoots fire, so, yeah. Got his face. Hi, his face. Hi, his face. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. How does this work? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, Fire, Fire Bro. And of course, Kamek is going to take the one that we are weak to, which is Squirtle. Since he is water type, he is super effective against that. Anyways, Kamek is going to challenge us just before we're about to leave. So, yeah, this is what we do in Pokemon. We have battles with our Pokemon, and yeah, so, here we go. We're going against our rival Kamek. When I'm on battle, he sends out Squirtle, and we send out Fire Blow. So, um... Now, Professor Oak is just going to give us a quick demonstration. Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. Trainer makes uh, the trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn from experience. So, now um, both of these Pokemon names are the same moves except for Scratch. He has, he has Tackle, which does slightly more damage, I believe. There. So I use Scratch, he uses Tail Whip. Now, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm playing on an emulator. So on my computer, so it'll be like 10 times easier to record. So, um, yeah, so my Tormentor should probably be able to take him out quickly. But, um, okay, yeah, we should probably lift this one tackle. Yep, we lift it. Okay, now I can use Potion. So yeah, this is where oh, you'll lift the Pokemon on. It's gonna heal my Fire Blow. Okay, so his Squirtle is gonna use Jackal. Should be able to, oh, look, be able to lift another one, so I'm just gonna Splash. Of course, it's really beneficial to be fast, so you always go first. Um, Squirtle is the second lowest of the Squirtles. Um, Bulbasaur is slightly slower. But yeah. So, as you can see, right under a fire bros thing, it has like a blue experience ball. If that gets filled up, he levels up, and when he levels up, his stats go up, and he gets stronger. And when a Pokemon gets to a high enough level, they evolve. So, that's beneficial. Okay, 
later, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Then it's another later. Also, I just want to say I love that rival theme. Awesome. Anyway, so now we are actually going to be able to go to Route 1 right over here, the place that we tried to go over here. But, um, now they're all Pokemon around here. But I'm not going to go over there by out just yet. I'm going to do that next episode when we can actually catch these Pokemon. So, yeah. We're just going to try to defeat them to level up. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Pokemon Fire Red was released um, during the third generation, which means that. Some of the stats and special and physical moves are kind of messed up. So, yeah. For example, some types are special, sometimes some are physical. So, like, yeah. Well, in other generations after three, then each move is either physical or special. So that's good and that's bad, that's good because, like, you know, if you have the same type, type attack bonus and, you know, you have a strong stat in that department, that's good, but, yeah. Anyway, so, if you're going around here, you want to talk to this dude, he's going to give you a free potion. That's always great, but, um. Yeah, so I got a potion and I'm Yoshi. That is awesome. But, um, yeah. So this dude talked to me. Yeah, you can jump down the ledges and they hit you real fast. So, but you can't go up ledges, so you gotta walk around. Okay, so I'm just gonna scratch him and then this one Embo should be able to take him out. By the way, Ember is a fire type attack, and it's great because they all have the same type of attack bonus. So, like, since he's since Charmander is a fire type, it'll be doing more damage since it's a fire type move. And of course, if you're using a if your fire type is using a fire type move, it's going to do more damage. And here we go. It's another Pokemon that I think that we haven't seen yet. This is Pidgey. He's the basic board Pokemon of this um, generation, and there we go. We, can, we just saw the secondary effect of um, Ember, which is Thorn. And Thorn has the other person's attack, so their moves aren't going to do as much damage. And they also get both every turn. But yeah, that's the secondary effect of Ember. It only happens like a small amount of time. But when it does happen, it's pretty nice. Anyway, so now we are at Viridian City, and quickly I'm gonna go look at my stuff here. So, here we go. So, you can look at your Pokemon here. So, I have my Charmander Fire Bow. Um, he's level 7. And you can see his stats here. High special attack and high speed. And then he has Scratch Barrel and Nimble. So, if you're ever wondering, you can go look at that. But, yeah. So, at almost any city, there's this thing called a Pokemon Center. And here you can heal your Pokemon. And there's also a thing that you can see to the right that's called a PC, which you can go, like, shoot a, a victim. But you'll see. You'll see once we catch more Pokemon. So, yeah. Anyways, we need to go to the Pokemon Mall. Pokemon, we want to advance in the story, and he got an order from Professor Oak, so now he got his portal, now we can go bang it to him, but before we do that, we're just going to explore the town a bit, we have um, this one place here, but yeah, this is the Pokemon school, I believe, yes. and what's on the back? Yeah, that, that just shows what each status will do. I'll show you guys what it does, what each one does when I when it happens. So, anyway. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. So, 
yeah, this dude is not letting us go over heal, so that's kind of bad. But we have a place over here that we can go to. But yeah, this is Route 22. Now, of course, I'm not going to actually go heal yet, because the Pokemon are not high enough level. But um, probably we'll go there next episode, maybe. But we'll go there soon, and there you can get some more Pokemon. That's always nice. Anyways, we're going to g jump down our ledges and quickly go to Professor Oak. Um, and then hopefully we can give him his fossil and then we'll do something. I'm just going to quickly run from this battle because I want to finish this video um, in time. Another Latica. I like Latica. But yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're back at Calicam. Oh, Yoshi, how is my old Pokemon? What seems it's growing more attached to you? you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? There we go, I gave him his fossil. Now what's gonna happen? Ah, oh, it's a custom Pokeball. I didn't order, thank you. And here comes Cam. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Alright, oh, I have a request for you two. My desk is my invention, the Pokédex. It basically records all of the Pokémon you catch in the mail. So yeah, that's why we want to catch Pokémon, so we get data on them. Explaining it, and we got five Pokeballs, and that's what you use to catch Pokemon. So yeah. So to catch Pokemon, you have to like put them in pits so that they're weakened, and then you can catch them. But anyways, we are actually going to go catch Pokemon and do all of that next episode, where we are going to travel back to Fortean City and go explore even more places and catch even more Pokemon. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and bye bye Ooh, Wait, here, I'm gonna have a challenge. Who can do the best Axiom voice? Axiom! Axiom, Axiom! Win one.